Hello everybody, thank you very much for checking me out. You already know my name is Echo Simpson and happy Mother's Day to all of you watching me right now. It was yesterday, 9th of May 2021 and today, uh, Monday 10th of May 2021, uh, we're going to have a beautiful conversation with a brother and a vocational and technical institution here in Ghana. So this is the Ghanaian system. Um, you go through the kindergarten, you enter the primary level, and then you write a basic examination, which is called BEC. So when you pass, um, you either go to a grammar school or you go to a vocational school. If you don't want any of that, then you might want to learn a trade, maybe learn uh, hairdressing, dressmaking, and all that. And even that, there is a school purposely for that. We call it a vocational and technical school. But the thing is that most parents and most people, even the government, don't pay much attention to the vocational side of us. Yes, when I say us, I mean we, the teachers, and then the students. Um, there's been this conversation that those who attend vocational or technical school are the dumb ones. Yes, and I know you say, no, Echo, this is not how we're supposed to be. Yes, I know. Put it up as a comment and let me know what you think about that in your country or in your area. So, I mean, that has been the story. Those who are in technical school are dumb. They don't know anything. That is why they are even going to that school to learn. But today I have here with me a tutor in one of the vocational institutions here in Ghana. Yeah. Uh, his yeah. name is Se Elolo. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. been a great partner when it comes to educating the public uh, yeah, about yeah. vocational yeah. and in technical yeah. skills. All right, so Mr. Elolo, welcome yeah. to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. I'm always glad to connect you anytime. Yes, yeah. yes, because we think alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, Elolo, yeah. kindly introduce yourself to okay. my subscribers okay. and then we take it from okay. there. Thank you so much. So, hello, all the, uh, all the viewers. My name is Chaplain Elolo. I call myself Chap L. Uh, I am a principal training officer in, in the National Vocational Training Institute. Uh, one of the biggest centers is in Cape Coast here, called it Brewa. So, I teach ICT and also computer hardware servicing. At the same time, too, I do a lot of ministry work. So, I, I serve as the, the chaplain for the whole school. And then, instead of more the children in their spiritual lives as well. The finally to our work as the, 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 the chairman for the trainees affairs committee where we will look at the students' election issues there, varying from the primary school, the GSS to whatever they're doing right now. So I serve like a dean of students in a higher institution. And then the, I love what I do so far and I think so far I want to say categorically that TVET is a way to go. <laughs> but TVET is the option for any country development. So you want to grow as a country, you need to shift our focus, as my brother said. We've done a lot for grammar education in Ghana. Now, we need to focus on the technical and vocational side and see how best you can support anybody at all who have opted to read a vocational course or a technical course. So, you know. All right, so you, see, you mentioned TVET, that yeah. is the way to go. Yeah. As a tutor in a technical institution, okay. Okay. have you also heard that statement that only you know, weak students okay. come to okay. such an institution. Okay. And what is your opinion on that? Okay, thank you so much. In fact, there are, there are a lot of assumptions that are not working very well for the vocational system. A lot of wrong mentalities people have about TVET in Ghana. I can say that, about what the course said, there are other issues that are bedeviling our work. TVET is for those who can combine the acts of their hands, their head, and their hearts to produce and to create. I just call it career training. In some other countries, they call it uh, professional and workforce training. Okay. In Ghana, we say technical and vocational education. Okay. In some other advanced countries, they call it career training. Career training. Or workforce and professional development schools. Okay. That is how they are thinking about They are about thinking, it. yeah. That is their mentality. Mm -hmm. But still, we, we still call it, it's not bad. We call it the technical vocational education training. So apart from the mindset of those who are weak, there are other issues of, you know, those who are from poor background, they okay. only come to vocational training. But all this is our mindsets, and they are wrong mindsets. Currently in Brewa, we have students who came here with aggregate 12. Wow. They aggregate 12. 12. Can you explain what aggregate 12? They, 
Some I know understand. Some I don't so probably will be selected first for secondary school from the grade six, okay. seven. Meaning eight. they did well they in did their well basic, in their educa basic education. education. And the first option should be a grammar school. A grammar it should school. have been a grammar school. But they offered themselves to go for vocational training because they see the importance and the relevance of it. Mm -hmm. Initially, you to have uh, students from very poor backgrounds. Yeah. And we were around have <laughs> students whose parents are lecturers. Well. And they opted that for this my daughter, although she did very well, or he did very well in BEC, I think that if he enrolls in a vocational school, he will become a better person. Okay. So Does the that issues are, mm -hmm. are every day, the good news in the system telling us that the mentality is changing. It's changing. The issues are changing, but okay. it's only on the slow pace. Okay. I believe with your work and my work, mm -hmm. we can make it go faster and okay. better as well. Do, do you think um, the government, I would always say we share our opinion. Okay. Do you okay. think maybe the okay. government or the educational system is okay. not giving much information? Who, who do you think okay. must take that, okay. that, that work okay. to do? In the first place, governments are doing their best. Okay. Okay. Let me say they are doing their best mm -hmm. for education in general. Okay. But the focus and the bias are not being towards the grammar education. Mm -hmm. Currently, the current government is doing a lot. Mm -hmm. If you see our campus, they are doing some upgrades of our building. Okay, beautiful. The instruments are coming. Mm -hmm. So as governments go, governments come. They, they, they tend to give more priority now. Okay. To it. Okay. And years ago, there's no issue of even a bus in our school. Wow. But very soon, buses are coming. Mm -hmm. So government upon government do their best to protect. Okay. Uh, so, but apart from the government ones, I want to say that if individuals take up this, this challenge mm -hmm. and they push high, for me, we can get better results okay. than what the government will do. Okay. If I, for one, say that, okay, I'm changing my mind mm -hmm. towards vocational education, and that man, and that woman, if we do that collectively, yeah. our individual force put together, we'll change. get as more change. Government will do it, but on a slow pace. Yeah. Government will do it with a funding will delay. Mm -hmm. Government will do it, but things will not work fast as we want it to be. Okay. So as entrepreneurs, I believe if we join our energy, mm -hmm. we can push this agenda faster than the government. government. That is why your institution and mine, the work we are doing, will go a long way, getting our result in a better and faster way as well. Okay. All right, so like he perfectly said, um, when I change my mindset, and then you do the same, yeah. and then another person does, and then we bring it together, I think we can change um, the narrative. We always want to change the narrative, you know. So um, people that are watching me or okay. my followers okay. mostly are, you know, outside Africa. Okay. And they love to come to Africa. Some of them do talk to me about okay. setting up some vocational schools and oh, all that. So okay. what are okay. some of the courses okay. that is, okay. you know, okay. that we do here? Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Uh, NGT in general run over 50 trees. Well, trees, of trace, course. course yeah. Okay. And I'm learning the new <laughs> trace. Okay. The, the, the okay. Trees, yes. On our campus here, we have 10 trees or okay. 10 departments. Okay. So we have uh, the general electrical department, general electricals. We have the motor vehicle mechanic department. Mm -hmm. We have the computer hardware servicing department. Mm -hmm. We have the catering department mm -hmm. or the catering tree. We have the dressmaking tree. Mm -hmm. We have the leather works. Okay. But we have uh, refrigeration and air conditioning. Mm -hmm. and we have building and construction. construction. And we have a department for carpentry and jewelry. Okay. And, and and apart from that, there are other trades as well being run in other MVTS schools. Okay. There's electronic. Okay. There is a uh, woodwork and Wood beadwork. Okay. Uh, there is a uh, painting and decoration. Mm -hmm. There are mm -hmm. the plants. Mm -hmm. You can talk about all of them. But on our campus here, yeah. we do those ten one. Okay. In addition to that, we have. Or we call the generic uh, subjects as well. They are the core subjects that they have to okay. refine the students. Mm -hmm. So we do mathematics, okay. we do the English language, we do ICT, we do a bit of uh, geometrical drawing. Mm -hmm. They also do entrepreneurship, a very key component in any vocational yeah. institution. And also we add some science here and there to it as well too. Okay. So we have the, the traits, mm -hmm. the, the, the core subjects, which all put together and make the students become very holistic. Okay. In, in the training program for the students, mm -hmm. that we, we, we are self sustaining. Yeah. We, we, we take raw material, mm -hmm. refine them. Mm -hmm. Everything you see on this campus here was done here. Wow. From the shoe I'm wearing, wow. the belt I'm putting on. Everything the was shirt done here. I'm doing, I'm wearing. Where all students who did this thing for me. Wow. You get to know, these yeah. things are done by our dressmaking department. Wow. Right here. 
and if the crowns there in the first year, first few months, you can make things learn. more than this. So the whole school year is, is a self-sustaining Sus- enterprise. Okay. What we need is raw materials mm-hmm. and inputs. Mm-hmm. Our gates was done by students for us. Wow. Electrical systems are done by students for us. Construction of roads and buildings are done by department and students for us. So what do you think Africa will be if in, in the whole of Africa you have schools like this? That are into this, yeah. doing work every day. Yeah. We'll be self-reliant. All we need is go and buy the raw materials. And we have them. We have them. We have numbers. all the raw materials. We have them. And every day when you come to the campus, on practical days, mm-hmm. you just love the whole wow. The BC guys are constructing. Constructing. The, the, the dressmakers are the sewing. The carpentry people are working. are doing beds and furniture. The caterers are cooking some delicious international <laughs> meals every day. Yeah. In fact, I have heard last time I bought a shirt from outside this campus. Oh, okay. Because whatever I need is done right on right campus. Right on campus. This is a testimony that the vocational system is the right way to development. Right. There's a story that education is a key to development. Mm-hmm. There's a statement like that. But Steve is the master key, key. to development. <laughs> he, he made mention that they do whatever they need, they do it here. Yeah. And I'm a testimony to that. One of my students yeah. went to school Moses. here. Moses. Moses. Yeah. And yeah. anytime there's a problem in my village where I work, Everybody goes to call Moses. Mm-hmm. And then Moses comes. He did electricals. Yeah. So he comes, he fixes it, he does it, he does that. And I feel so proud when I call him, yo, your own something story. is, yo, go and check it out. And then he will go and fix it. Yeah. And so I, for once, I want to be a patron to this, Thank you. to this Thank whole you. Um, you. technical, vocational, you, are, you, are you know, skills, disseminating the information out there. Right. If you are watching me right now, I think this is the best time for mm. us you there in the diaspora and we here in africa to come together to partner and do more for africa that is what we all want now let's come to this beautiful project that you're about to do you know i'm a teacher by profession you know that right but aside that i do other things in relation to the teaching that makes my students or my school or my teachers feel so comfortable and want to be in school i know he's he's just like me he's up with something and I want him to talk about this whole thing. I know it will be in connection to, I mean, disseminating or telling the story yeah. about okay. technical and vocational yeah. training. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about the project okay. that is coming up. Thank you so much again. So about seven years ago, mm-hmm. I realized that as an IT instructor, yeah. integrating IT into TVET, it, it's a, a, a very difficult thing to do. Okay. We have, we have schools in Ghana that are teaching students about how to become the best person in, in, in let's say, electric house. Mm-hmm. But they are still relying on old ways of teaching, mm-hmm. the blackboard or whiteboard. There's no element of IT or okay. ICT or digital tools mm-hmm. in the teaching and learning process. Okay. So I've been thinking, what can I do on my own mm-hmm. to facilitate the integration of current digital tools in the 21st century for God, for okay. Christ's sake? You go to classrooms today, teachers they have notebooks and writing notes on the board. Yeah. Go to a classroom that are learning about refrigeration. And there's no can't refrigerator. Find any digital thing <laughs> in the classroom. At best it will be a textbook. Mm-hmm. Or at best it will be some old desktop computer that they are doing something. But I get mad about things like yeah. as an IT person. So I established a foundation that I call the TVET Foundation Ghana. Our goal is to facilitate the integration of technology okay. into the teaching and learning process mm-hmm. that happens across any TV school in Ghana. Okay. It can be a private school, government school. Honestly, how about do we integrate internet, mm-hmm. integrate IT tools, mm-hmm. digital tools, the hardware, the software, networking things to facilitate training because the industry where our trainees are working, they are flying at a jet speed. Yeah. But the training schools, we are running at a scooter speed. Yeah. Our students finish school, they go to the industry, they see bigger machines and, and they're they like, get wow. scared, yeah. But in training, we still use hammer and chisel and nails. Person finishes go to work as a, as a carpenter somewhere and he sees huge machines, has no <laughs> idea. How do we solve it? I have a foundation that goes out to do conferences and training programs free of charge for schools, headmasters, educationists, so that they can learn that today for us to learn better, let's add a bit of IT, IT. to <clears> our <throat> training in a classroom. If nothing at all, there should be smartphones available, okay. internet available, okay. so that 
you can leverage on IT mm -hmm. to make sure that teaching and learning in vocational schools become better. Wow. So on the 15th of May, mm -hmm. I am hosting the second edition okay. what I call the Central Career Convocation. Okay. I call it a convocation because we are gathering people of the same mentality mm -hmm. for a particular agenda. Okay. It's not a talk show conference. It is a, I am convocating people. I am calling them together for us to address how do we, do you know today as a now, students in vocational schools are not allowed to use mobile, mobile phones phone. in school. Not for any reason. If the instructors, <laughs> some are, 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 they call themselves born before born computers. Before computer. <coughs> I want to tell you, I, I, I'm even older than computers. So why you will never I, learn. Yeah. As an electrical master, as a dressmaker, as a caterer, why should I worry about using projector, touch screens mm -hmm. in my class? My is to teach how to prepare food. But you can do that in a better in a way. Better way yeah. So as an IT instructor, I want to see how best do we integrate digital tools mm -hmm. to make sure that our teaching and learning goes yeah. very well. Yeah. That is a project and a summary of it all. Okay, beautiful. So uh, in a nutshell, you are inviting light-minded people like yeah. you yeah. to yeah. speak to the whole student body over, of over 800 students. Over 800 students. 14 different schools. Wow. We gathered here wow. in three auditoriums, wow. all linked together wow. via web conference. Wow. We have about 10 guest speakers. <coughs> One Dr. Oluwelu is in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reverend Father Aaron is in America right okay. now. Okay. We have Jeremy Abouaben, my, my good friend, a motivational speaker, yeah. an award-winning Ghanaian young man. We have a lot of engineers, so man about technology. Mm -hmm. Professor Eva Ebenezer Shalin. All the way from Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire, wow. Link this is Bible, going to be big. World conference in. <clears throat> With all other tech guys. I call him something scary because he's this. I call him there. I call him right there. There's a young lady in Nigeria, mm -hmm. Mayukun. Okay. She is a social media and smartphone profitability coach. coach. Wow. She teaches you how to use a make, smartphone to, to make, make profit. Ends, yeah. To make gains. She will link up via social media. Wow. They are bankers, they are lecturers, they are IT guys in, in, in education all around us. Mm -hmm. And I, I am your humble host. Yes. <laughs> I want to gather all these guys to talk to over 800 students. Yeah. And it's free of charge. Wow. They're not charged anything for the program. Yeah. Yes, join me in clapping, yeah. Join me in clapping. I mean, you see, this is what we always preach that yeah. if you are sent to an institution, especially in a school, a to work, you need to cause a change. Let's yeah. brighten that corner where we are. Yeah. You know, I love this whole idea, bringing about 800 students mm. to learn about, mm. you know, integrating IT, IT into TVET. This is, this is huge. And I promise that I'll go live on my oh, yeah. YouTube channel yeah, for thank you. my thank followers you. to thank also see as well. Now, Bless there's this thing that I want to ask Bless from you, Bless as you watching me right now. Yeah. I wish I could support with about $1,000. Yes, I wish I could support with about $500 or maybe just a dollar. You know, bringing all these 800 people with the speakers, some all the way from Abidjan, which is Cote d'Ivoire and all that, to this beautiful place. I think we should support a brother. That is what I feel. Let's support a brother. So um, I, I don't want to be in this conversation. I'm going to leave his email straight under the description. Okay. Please send him an email yeah. and have That's a fine. communication. Have a talk with him. Yeah. His name is Elolo. Elolo, hey, I watched the video. It was beautiful. I'd love to support you with a dollar or with a two dollars, with five dollars. Or maybe with an idea, he's still ready to listen. So, hey, thank you very much for checking us out. Thank you. I can't wait on the 15th of May, which is, is this Saturday? Hey, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, the, the week of the program. The week of the program. Yeah. And yeah. I'll, I'm a speaker. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, <laughs> he's a mentor. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mentor yeah. right here. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it would be yeah. beautiful yeah. to, yeah. you know, for you to be a part of this. So, like I said, please support this beautiful yeah. course. And let's take it yeah. to the next level. Just a little addition. After the one in Cape Coast here, mm -hmm. the plan is that you see, all the schools cannot come down to Cape Coast. Okay. So after this event in Cape Coast here, for the month of June to December, okay. we are going around all the 34 MBTI schools wow. in the country. So we launch what I call the National Career Convocation. Okay. This is the central one. This is the central one. So we have a national one where 
you carry this good news across every school. Yes, we need it. Woku MVTI, they mm -hmm. cannot come down to campus. Yes, they can. It's a Tamale MVTI, they mm -hmm. cannot come there. So we arrange all of them okay. on particular days. Okay. You carry those of my guys mm -hmm. here who are close to those regions. Yeah. You go there and do a similar event for them over okay. there. And all this requires a lot of support and okay. then, 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 then yeah. you know things here and there. So mm -hmm. apart from this, a lot of things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that the news is sent down sent to the out. people. And right. it's going to be a practical workshop. Okay. So we need laptops available okay. that day. We need internet facilities available, mm -hmm. smartphones. I want to make a call for anybody who can support us with educational tablets. Because during the events like this, the students most of them have gadgets. We can have about 10 educational tablets. 20 of them, okay. we carry them along to the event. Okay. After teaching you about, for example, blogging mm -hmm. or vlogging, mm -hmm. right after the training, they can you go try their hands on the it. tablets, have internet available, mm -hmm. and the trainees or the students can write on the spot, okay. have a feel of it. Okay. Then we leave them with the practical knowledge and the skills as well. So we support our work, and not only financial, I prefer more of the materials, mm -hmm. more of cameras, okay. more of IT products. Internet okay. is a big issue. Yeah. Yeah. If you can give us any router, like a link about mm -hmm. four or five educational tablets, or anything about internet, okay. or laptops, or desktop, or smartphones, they are all welcome to support the students and make sure that the desire of training in IT mm -hmm. in vocational schools is achieved. Okay. And achieved very I well. want to make a call to one brother. Okay. His name is Wadamaya. Wadamaya. You know okay. Wadamaya? Okay, I think I saw him on your videos or something. Yeah. Okay. He's so, one of the okay. best guys who's okay. moving around Africa wow. to showcase wow. how beautiful wow. Africa is. Okay. And he mostly okay. does okay. this, okay. you know, connecting people okay. who are already setting up businesses. Whoa. So Wadamaya, if you're Whoa. watching this, Whoa. I know what you can do, yeah? I know what you can do. Just um, let's support your brother. Anyway, I know, I know, we will talk. Yes, we will talk. So, hey. Thank you very much for checking us out. Put up a comment that you want to support this beautiful course and then we'll take it from there. Ciao.